Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video we will take a look at the market. I know we're seeing some red motion happening in this place. People are panicking, some might be panic selling and stuff. And you're probably wondering the same thing. Should you be selling? Should you be holding? I'm going to take you th uh, through some key charts things that i see in the charts that i think we really need to pay attention to and hopefully this can help you understand my position on where we are in this space and what i see going forward so if this sounds interesting to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching and yeah before i dive into this i need to let you know i am not a financial advisor these are just my own personal opinions on the market so please always do your own research before investing any money that being said let's try to figure out why this may be happening now recently uh, Grayscale, the, one of the biggest, uh, I want to call them institutions holding Bitcoin, because they spent billions and billions of pounds on Bitcoin. You could almost call them an ETF. Now, for those who don't know what Grayscale is, they're basically a massive, massive company that's invested tons of money into the crypto space. They mainly focused on Bitcoin, and they were basically, like I said, it's almost like an exchange traded fund where other other big investors can put their money into them to buy crypto at least as, that's as, as far as what i'm aware that's what it's like right so you know some investors especially ones that got millions of pounds or hundreds of thousands of pounds don't always like to custody their own uh, crypto so i'm assuming uh, a company like grayscale they can go to grayscale and say look i want to buy it through you if anything goes wrong i can deal with you face to face kind of thing and that's why these companies exist now if i'm wrong please drop your comments down uh, let me know but as far as i'm aware that's what i think it's like and yeah you know they just recently re uh, been releasing or have re uh, released i can't remember which day it is unless unless it's still coming up let me just check down here because they got like 40,000 Bitcoin that they're going to unlock. And a lot of people are panicking, thinking, well, maybe this Bitcoin that gets unlocked will, uh, people may sell off. But from my perspective, is I think that the people that bought Bitcoin, I think they bought it at a premium price. And I think the price that they bought was a lot higher than what the price is now. Because I think they may have bought it up here somewhere, maybe here, here. I don't know. But if they were to sell now, and this is just my personal opinion, they, they would probably be selling at a loss. So I think a lot of what we're seeing here, this looks really complicated. Let's just grab this chart here. A lot of what we're seeing right now through here, this is the weekly chart. I think we're seeing a lot of retail, mean, meaning you and me panic selling. And, you know, that that's basically money that's uh, been prepared in advance for this drop. I think that uh, the price has already been taken into consideration. That's what I'm trying to get at before this uh, grayscale gets unlocked. I might be wrong. Time will tell. Uh, you know, I've shown videos in the past and I might bring it up on one of my next videos just talking about a pattern that looked very similar to this Wyckoff event. And, you know, if we do come down, I'm expecting it to come down to here. Well, it, actually, to be fair, some people are calling 24K, which could be around here. But in all honesty, you know, this really can can go down to and it sounds crazy and i've said it before and I, I will i will bring that video up when it if, if it happens it could actually go down to 14k uh because that's sort of like where the next heavy support is when you look at it on the monthly time frame but we're looking on the weekly time frame right now and let's just really dive into this because this is a key moment for Bitcoin. Now, this line here is called the moving average, for those who don't know. I know a lot of people know because you watch it and you do your own trading stuff. It's the 55-day, sorry, weekly moving average. The reason this is significant is because it's the, the the lowest part of the EMA ribbon. Because you can get like a ribbon of uh, different lines, right? Different, And it shows like the top part and the lowest part. And this is usually the strongest part. And if it breaks this, you know we may see further downside action and i'll explain that in a second uh, but if it holds support because if you look closely over the week it has been holding incredible support and i've been speaking about this a lot on my channel and i think it's important that we do pay attention to this we kind of you know what's the what's today where what are we friday saturday today you know we kind of need bitcoin to come back above to uh to around these prices here there's a lot of things that can uh we can take into consideration um I, I don't know if people still hold true to it but you know the cme futures chart they always have gaps so you gotta remember if it's the weekend this is creating a new uh, a huge gap now because you know it's not being traded on the weekend on the cme futures which means it could come up by monday i don't know i'm just saying right putting it out there uh but you know they the, bitcoin has to hold this as support if it can then great uh to be fair and, and you know when you look at like the prices right now and i'm just going to bring you over to this chart a bit more complex not too much just you know i just want to show you this 
this price action here, when you look at the Bitcoin price right now, and I know you're waking up you're thinking, oh my God, prices are low. It's not been any worse off than what it's been over the last few weeks. Maybe in what, June? Because if you, or well, even here, look, because the lowest part we've ever faced was down here. Or here, darling. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway, <laughs> the lowest part we've, been, we've ever seen Bitcoin drop through this, you know, 2021 after this the massive crash was $28,000. So, you know, we're here right now. And I've drawn this line here. I don't know. It looks like a descending triangle. It may, it may fall lower. Time's going to tell. But, you know, there is still a chance that it can, it can go up because it's like you're seeing a descending triangle, which is the line here, this gold line with the uh, angle coming down, along uh, out of a, a falling wedge. Now, a falling wedge is bullish. So, like I said to you before, Bitcoin's price could actually come right down to here. You could see, you know, this red fall right down to here and still be in this falling wedge and then come back up like this and then eventually just break upwards. So, I'm keeping my eye on it. I'm just going to watch. I'm not seriously panicking right now because I think that we've still got time to see what's going to happen with Bitcoin. And this is on the daily t uh, time frame. The reason I show you Bitcoin, because again, you know, Bitcoin controls the market. Bitcoin falls, it sucks the rest of the coins down with it. You know this. And that's what we've been seeing. So I'm just, uh, you know, really paying attention to that. I really want to keep it real with you and just show you different perspectives of this market, right? I'm going to zoom this out because the last time I ever saw Bitcoin fall below this 55. Now, people don't watch the 55. They watch the 21 and, the, you know, the, the 20 and all that stuff. But no one watches the 55. And the last time it broke below the 55, I can only think of one or two times that it broke. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. Uh, let me just show you right here. So once you can understand what it looks like if we're going through it. Well, we broke the 55 here, right? And then we saw a massive capitulation. A little break there came above. But I'm on about the real true breaks. One was here, right? And, and I'm talking about in a downward trend coming into a bear market. One was here. And then you can see we had an extended, you know, a good, I don't know how long that is. Let's just test it. Uh, from here to here, you're looking a good few days. Uh, it took 330, roughly 329 days after we broke that line and let's just take a further look back uh, i'll talk about these in a second i just want to show you when we broke it and you can see here as well look we broke this is the last time uh, in the last cycles we broke around here and we printed a new candle below roughly around here or here and since then it took this long from here to this this actual uh candle here it took that long to break back out and you're talking uh, let's just have a quick look uh, again that's 406 days. So if Bitcoin can't sustain it and hold support above it, we could see a long period of time until we break back above this 55 and it may hold resistance because look, look what happened before. When it tried to break it, it held resistance, it fell back down. And remember, these are weekly candles, guys. We're not talking days, we're talking weeks. It took a long time for Bitcoin to break above. But you best believe when it breaks above it, you know, you see some power. You really do see some power. Let me just uh, explain what I've got here. Because I, you know, people do panic. But, you know, if it can come back above, and I'm going to explain those. If it comes back above this yellow line holds support, Bitcoin from, you know, here to here, it hasn't done anything out of the ordinary that like it hasn't done before. Okay, so we had a what? We've had roughly a, you know, if it holds support, 47% drop right but let's take a look here because we've seen kind of 40 percent drops in the past 20 for this is 2017 prior right the last bull run this one here signaled roughly a full minus 40 percent drop from the top to bottom and then it bounced off this line held support and then we rode above same here from here to here and here to here well that was a 40 percent drop as well so yeah we have seen these big harsh drops before so you know when you look at it like this there could be some hope still that we could still be in this bull run and things could potentially still go up if you're new watching and you're liking it so far you know give me a subscribe because this is the stuff i like to do show you and all sorts and uh yeah i'm just gonna quickly move forward now uh so yeah taking a look at uh oh let me find this chart hold on one last chart this one here the gossium channel because we spoke about this before and i told you when you when we go into this it's like going through a current like you're in the ocean you just get flung out the other side i always think of uh nemo when you're riding that current wave and that little turtle gets flung out the other side that's what this is like and when we go inside it we're in it for a long time. And I'm talking the weekly time frame again. We're talking weekly candles. Now, the last time we entered the Gaussian channel on a downtrend, if it, you know, because if we've had the top of the market and now we're coming down, the last time we entered it, 
you know, we was in it for a long time. We was in it for, again, 357 days. It's almost a year. And take a look here as well, even from, from here to here, how many days was that? So, you know, it's really important that we, we try and remain above it. 252 days. So we could see around 250 to 350 days if we enter this. Uh, where are we now? Let's just take a look. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're literally kissing the top of it. <laughs> you know, just... <laughs> What am I laughing for? I, I, can't, I can't do that. I can't help it. Uh, you know, <laughs> just laugh at me. We're back. Hopefully, we. Sh I'm hoping to see some kind of rise or bounce off it. If we don't, we're going to come into it. And if we close a candle inside it, you know, you know, I just need to prepare you. I got to keep it real because you know I love to hype up coins, show you great projects when they happen and things like that. But I also like to show you the realness. And I, I don't know. I know that if this comes down. It's not just going to be retailers that get hit. It's these big institutions that are going to lose a ton of money <laughs> because you're going to see price collapse. And the question is, what I ask myself every day is, do you think that the institutions will allow that? Now, it can go one of two ways. Maybe yes, because they're so powerful and they've got so much money that they don't care. Or it's a couple of billion to go minus just because, you know, they can make everyone else panic and, and buy more cheap you know or they may just take some profits or which which we could have seen you know at the top white coffee uh, what do you call it accumulation right white coffee events and now we're looking at the accumulation phase or they could buy back and if they buy back now because you know to them you got to think of it like this bitcoin was almost 60 what 65 000, almost and now it's half the price. Now, big institutions look at it like that. This is half price right now. So we could get a buyback. We could bounce off of this, you know, gossip channel. And hopefully things just carry on going upwards. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention because it is important. Uh, let's just quickly take a look at... I should have done it. I like to do it now and again. Um, uh, what's it called? The uh, Fear and Greed. Fear and Greed Index. Crypto. I should have... I don't know why... I, Look, I had to restart my computer. I had problems, you know, and then refined it and all sorts. Here we go. Here it is. So right now, yet yeah, we're st <laughs> we're still in extreme fear. We've come down, you know, fifteen. That's is you can't get any more fearful than that, <laughs> unless it goes down to like six. I don't know. I've never seen it at six in my life. But I just want to remind you that we have been here before. Okay, we've been here down here before. Uh, I was twelve. Oh look, we did see an eight. No, that's eight for March. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm supposed to be looking at here where it says 10. There you go. That's the lowest I think I've seen it go. 10? Oh, no. 8. So it went down to 8. 9, 8. I'm looking right here. 8. So, you know, right next to the cursor. You can see it there, right? 8. Uh, you know, we'd been down here before. And look what happened after. We did see a spike up. So I, I expect that we, we won't stay down here forever. There will be a time where prices start going up and it is horrible right now. But, you know, you just got to, these are the times where it tests you. You know, you test yourself and you ask yourself, are you a hodler or are you a trader? I'm a long term investor and I invest long term. This is why I don't I don't really care too much about what the prices do now, because in two to three years, it can look you know, much more different and things could look great. So, you know, that being said. We may see some support off here. And if we do and prices come up and it breaks this 21 day. Is it 21? Let me just check to see what this one is. Yeah, this is the 21 day. If it breaks this and, you know, it comes out of this, you know, falling wedge and rises up. I've, I've been saying to you, you know, in the last video, I'm expecting it to go to around $42,000. And that would just shock everyone because everybody's expecting it to go down. And what usually happens, you know, because uh, sometimes... I've noticed that when everybody thinks something's going to happen, usually the opposite happens. So I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen. And hopefully, you know, things might pull, forth, pull through. <laughs> My words. I ain't cut it. We've been facing this resistance on the uh, down here. You can see it all this green here. This is heavy resistance we've been facing for the longest time right back from Jan uh, January. I told you it's on the RSI. And you can see every time Bitcoin gets to it, it just it just declines it, it declines it, it declines it. So I know when we break this resistance, I don't know when it's going to be, but I'm telling you now, and, I, and I'm 100% sure, when we break this resistance, you're going to see the biggest parabolic rise in the crypto, in Bitcoin. It's going to surpass this price here. We will be minting new all-time highs, and yeah, it's just going to shock everyone. So be prepared for that, because I'm telling you, a big move is coming when it breaks this resistance. 
okay so yeah again can't tell time but just i'm just watching it watching it all the time and you know hoping that things go through so what do you think about the grayscale stuff let me know your thoughts on this do you think this is why you know we've been seeing prices fall i'd like to hear your input it's always good to know uh and what you're doing are you holding are you selling are you buying because <laughs> you know there's some cheap prices right now you know if you're a patron of mine you know what i'm doing i always let you know to remain calm and stuff and keep buying these things because you know it's a great time to be accumulating i think anyway and if prices fall just to keep 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 <laughs> Can't get that. Keep accumulating. I'm not cutting it. I'm keeping it in raw, fresh, and organic like Tesco's. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all for watching. If this was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. Big up to you all. Shout out to my patrons. I see you in these tiers. I'm going to update my list because I've been seeing some new patrons come and go. I've got a few more people that have come, so I'm going to update it. <laughs> it's just such a long list, isn't it? i got to do a crazy long name call. I might actually just do a long name call because usually I cut it in because I'm trying to. So many of you! You have me sitting here for like 10 minutes! <sighs> that's all I can say anyway <laughs> I'm going to just shout out to my patrons are you ready for this list shout out to Tony Ottery it's time AJ Frank C63 Clarence Dennison Christopher Johnson Jacob Adams Mr Anonymous Stuart Chocolate Car Carlos Rocha Damaris Samuel Stancox Rahul the God Dante Kennedy RG Bizzle Max Wisem Rediax Robinson Manny Sanchez Catherine Chung Tyron Samuel Stephen I swear that ant comes near me the flick it off the screen uh, where am I Tyron Tyron Samuel Stephen Edwards Ab Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pamela Williams, Stacks on Racks, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Casper Avan Davis, CCP269. I've got to do it fast because I promise you, there's loads. Good feels nice. Dominic, Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shonda Owens, Tana McLaren, Josh Wills, Marcel SSK, Kevin Ward, Sassovi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Christy, Peter Moser, Snowy, big up, uh, D Swearing, Andrea Hardin, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, Eschar, Claudette Homiliosa, like Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway, just flip you up in the air, because that's a sick little floating spell. Shakir Sane, Jeff Tomtich, Lamar Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril. Cyril? I always get, you know what I mean. Alexander, look, big up to you. Alexander Alfori, Gilbert, Gilbert Baggins, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Powell, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, uh, Crypto Mac, Andrew Queen, Gimme the Games, Videx West, AM, Ali, Mo C, I'm trying to do it fast, Fiat Jassin, Mike V, J Fave, Terry JC, Ollie, uh, Orville Broomfield, I'm getting there, Frank, <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm over halfway, Frank Essa, Nasa, Ig Ignacio, love that, because that's like a sick Harry Potter spell, G Crypto Lomond 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Locko, <laughs> Zach Adam, what am I laughing for, Mansour, Jem de Jaguar, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, exactly us, just Flip that one out of your hand, you best believe. <laughs> what offer? Stony Mac. <laughs> Can't help it. John Lowe, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Aiden, Ejikia Corey, Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Durai, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, uh, Marky Cersei, hello, Ryan Williams, Tukan, Santino, Joel, was it Joel? Let me know. Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, Rene, UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Lena111, or Lena, let me know, one of them, uh, Lena111, Sunny V, Crypto Crypto One, Honey Abu, Ricardo Vinegar, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgus, Crypto Moon, Nike, Oh, new to you. <laughs> Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adedigi, Chiquita, Chiquita, hello. Uh, John Sandoval, Optimus Primpage, Edgar Cortez, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, SNCCC Mullen, Daddy Albus, uh, jo <laughs> listen, I told you, some come and gone, I'm getting mixed tongue twisted. Joshua Ashar, uh, Black Ape, Bob Ross, Eloy, Mikey, you, Mickey? Mikey? Mikey! User X20... I always get that one mixed up. I've got to scroll up. Uh, User X2019, Blackstar, Chelles Creations, Akis Voderus. That's that spell. Just mash up your ear. <laughs> I can't say it, you know. Abedis Sayed, Moises De Lopez, Michael, Joseph Samara, Niona London, Chris Tap... I'll just tap dance with you. <laughs> okay, i got to stop. <laughs> Iris, Montreal Ammo... I've got to have fun with it, guys. It's just a long-ass list. I mean, are you still sitting here? Because it's long! Joey J, Raj T, Br Brian Reedy, Terry, Carnell Goodman, Matthew Walker. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. <laughs> Sarpay Singh, Dennis Boonman, Mark Peak, Ilya Chiu. Chiu? 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 Let me know. Royal ID, Teddy Barrow, Hassan P, Makuga, Gordon McCulloch, Monica Matteo, uh, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Arted, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello. Rizwan, A Kings, or A Kings? Let me know. Ice Cat Trader, Davidus. Hold on, it just says Davidus, doesn't say, okay, well, mate, oh, half, just give you half, you know, Connie, uh, A. Alamu, William Johnson, Anthony Donay, 
Karen, hold on, Karen Danik, like I'm getting all tongue twist. Kimberly Gaiman, all for one. Cylinder to Shuma, Stefan Coinage, PC World, because it's just PC, but it's just, I like it. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Marky27, <clears throat> clear my throat, that's not a name. Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, Tom Rodriguez, uh, where am I? Uh, Golden Bags, Slow Measy, Null 21, Trevor Dawson, Ju Tam, Thierry, I told you, there's loads, and I'm halfway. <laughs> just say, you know, you might enjoy it. Joe Yusuf, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, RF Joy, Danny Rich, Erlstein, Carnivore 444, Morgan Culver, Joe, Kapashkama, Alex, Alexis Pagan, I think it's Pagan, Pagan, let me know, Seraf X, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Big Up, Anish Patel, Aaron Nova, Muhammad Imran, uh, Ankush Jane, Cory, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Elijah Aylendi, I think that's right, Moinu Hussain, Andrew Laramie, uh, I'm getting there. Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laforme, T Tony B, D Wills, Mad Riyad Medicasso, Medicasso, there you go. Hash Matala, Suraj Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Masikso, Master J, Daniel Brown, Leon Plus. I told you! It's just slowing me down. Why you got too many of you? But I appreciate it. Let me just keep going. DG Crypto, <laughs> Adam Istvan, the oh, Istvan, Theodore Wheaton. Hold on, what's, what's my f bloody phone doing? Where am I? Here we go. LD, Vincent Millet. Yep, that's right. Mauricio, A Noop N, Steve, Steve Hayer. <laughs> There's so many. A Man Rizvi, Janetta. Hello, Janetta. Uh, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Gabriel v Vince McDowell. Yep, so I'm getting mixed up now. Duns River, Carrie, Gilbo Blaggins, Jake, Jake Ross, Cookie Crumbs. Cookie. <laughs> I can't say it every time. Christian, uh, Lee, Philip Staffer, Fund Me Now. I mean, if uh, you know, I'll sort you out one day. <laughs> what other? Crypto Dive, uh, Maha Ramadan, uh, Fears Ahead, Jim. Jim? Yeah. Harsha, uh, Bent Henson, Daniel Grigview. I think that's right. Idol Piper, big up. I know you make crazy games with me. Uh, Sherry T. Zostek, will you all make games with me? I know you do. We win, we lose. You know, it's, it's, it happens. Can't win them all. Deshanovation, Dish Mustafa, Skylark. Old type DJ Skylark. I'm in the place with the DJ Skylark. Big up. The okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just gotta do it. Liz Reed. Look, I gotta start scrolling down now. Uh, where am I? El Bengred, the A team, slash something else. Uh, Jacob Madaris, Dave Cathro, I think that's right. Richard Harmer, Kyle Dawson, JP Dillian, De I think that's right. Joe Shorns, oh no, I'm getting there. I'm probably getting there. Akeem Banks, Michelle Van Den Acker, hello. Rosemary Henson, Justin Levin, Via Financial, yeah, Via Financial, I say Via in London. Yeah. Raycorn, Mr. Pauniti, Massey, Tonye Adekibi, Seer Coins, I think that's right. James Richards, Kasha Smith, Soul Seeker. I don't know, I just felt like I could do like a, I had to do like a heaven noise. Oh, anyway, fear this. I don't fear this, yep. Yeah. Rossi D, pa uh, Paolo Baptista. You are a Patreon, big up to you. Uh, Renton Baco, because uh, I spoke to you in it. Inigo Zubieri, I think that's right. Stefan Grunfeld, Grunfeld, yep, yeah, got to get it right. RGC, Visual, uh, Lee Goodwin, those are two different names. RGC, Visual, Lee Goodwin, Jiba. Yeah, that's right. Matthew Wan, Tristan Miles. Oh, there's so many tongue twists. John Hong, Saif Rahman, uh, May Ravel. I think that's right. Uh, Laurie Litra, Alicia Abigas. I think that's right. Uh, hold on. Nima Ram Wambagu, Des. <laughs> it's just too much. David Lang, Saita. I remember that. Danny Ruddick. Look, I'm scrolling down still. Uh, who's still here? <laughs> I told you there was too many. You thought I was joking. Kenny Brokaw. Broco, I think that's right. Broco, Aaron Nguyen, Nick Smith, S Sandbox, Nazar, Sam Lenio, yeah, James Snowden, P, Pi, new names, Mr. Bonds. I'm almost. I can see the end. Double starred, most Mo Mill, Roy W, Tom Just, uh, Mus is it Mustak Dean, Michael Knight, Medea, S. Terrell, Nate, Roberts, John Carty, Josh Davis, Batch One, V. J. Kumar, is it Fuchs? I don't want to say the other one if it's a swear word. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Devastator X, Francis B, Christopher Hamilton, Mr. Investor, Irina Lorenzo, Mark, Raphael Stepnikowski, Jordan Rutty, and Jean Gerard. Thank you all so, so much. It's mad, crazy, ludicrous, bomb with the name calls. I appreciate you all so much. Let me scroll to the top, just get there. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Cheers.